Will and Karen both have vivid and conscious memories of their experiences. They both managed to overcome the initial trauma of these encounters better than most and live normally while trying to come to terms with what really happened to them. It involves dealing with events which are not experienced in everyday life, missing time, intense physical sensations, etc. Uh, some of these experiences, um, you know, I hate discussing memory because it's, it, when you're having an experience, it doesn't feel like, like you've lost a part of your memory. It's more like time has been distorted. Right. You know, you walk into a hallway, something happens, and then it's five hours later. Right. It doesn't feel like you've lost a part of your memory. You were conscious and aware the entire time, yeah. right. but it seems like a section of your life got skipped. Yeah. Like edited out or yeah, something. Yeah, it got edited out of the film. Yeah, like it's just like the film was just spliced together. So you're completely conscious and completely conscious, but the, the two frames don't make sense next to each other yeah. because there's this whole piece in the middle that's missing. So to give you a sense of what it would feel like, right now you, we're, we're having tea together, yeah? So you have a sense of what this feels like to you, yes? Now imagine the very next second from when I stop speaking, all of a sudden you find yourself out in the street by the car. In the very next second, no skipping of, of, of time. Do you understand what I mean? Yes. So, T now, next second, outside car. And you're conscious here, and you're conscious at the car. Wouldn't you wonder what happened? Like how, you would be at the car and you would think, how the hell did I just get out here? I was just in that second before drinking tea. You don't remember walking away from the teacup. You don't remember walking to the door, saying goodbye to us. You have no idea what happened between the teacup and the car. But you were conscious at both places. You say what? I think it's uh, peas and carrots. I took a couple of years. When I woke up school, but... as an adult okay. in the room filled with the blue light, for a moment I thought to myself, is this a gas leak? Is this a gas explosion? Is there a fire? Followed immediately by the fear of they're coming. And I tried to shove myself underneath the bed, tried to hide, tried to squirrel myself away because there was nowhere in this small room to hide. And then sure enough, door opens up and these two beings scurry in and one touches my leg, you know, very physical, touches my leg. And I knew that that light meant that those things were about to show up. So the first part of it starts out as they meet us, as they meet the experiencer in this density, and it's that dense, but then there is the experience of being taken or leaving this dimension. And in the leaving of this dimension, things don't feel so dense and they don't feel so dense. It feels like the vibration shifts, that everything speeds up. It feels like the body um, becomes light. And for me specifically, it, it felt like my cells were being pulled apart and um, that the speed of everything moved up, like you know, things were moving much quicker. If this was just something that was just happening, like it felt like in my mind, that just felt like dreams, I would have never told anybody about it. I would have kept that to myself. I'm aware that these stories are insane to the listener. I'm aware that they sound crazy to everybody else. Why would I want to go put myself out there and say, I have all these dreams that I think are real. That's, re that's retarded. That's stupid. I wouldn't do that. The only reason that I believe them that they are what they are is because my body was very physically involved in all of them and because these experiences, these beings physically interrupted my world. What we've learned from many experiencers, including myself, who have described this experience in detail, I believe that what we're describing is two different realities meeting, mixing temporarily and then separating, leaving very little evidence. So I believe that these meetings of two worlds, it seems to only be for a few minutes at a time. I don't know that an alien could appear in our world and stay here. What we've seen, or what I've seen, is them in our environment only briefly, 10 minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, then they remove us, me, anyone, from their environment, take them into their alien environment for most of the time, and then bring them back.